Hey, you wonderful people. My name's Clayton, and today we're gonna talk about terpenes. Now, terpenes are responsible for the different smells and flavors of individual strains of cannabis. But what's cool about terpenes is that they're found in every plant in the world. They're what give blueberries their smell, lavender its color, and lemons their taste. Wikipedia defines terpenes as a large and diverse class of organic compounds produced by a variety of plants, particularly conifers, and some insects such as termites or swallowtail butterflies. There have been over 250 organic terpenes identified in the world, and Wikipedia goes on to say, terpenes are also major constituents of the cannabis sativa plants, which contain at least 120 identified compounds. Now, many different terpenes are found in each individual strain of cannabis. And, as we've discussed in some previous videos, because terpenes are partly responsible for the individual effects you get from cannabis, it's best to keep a journal of the different strains you've tried and the effects you've felt, regardless of whether they were positive or negative. Having the strains test results that show the cannabinoid content and a terpene profile will give you the ability to find the best strains for your specific ailments. Of course, there is some science behind these terpenes, a lot of which I'm sure you're unknowingly aware of. So we're gonna go over six of the most common terpenes found in the cannabis plant, compare them to their other plant counterparts, and discuss the ailments that they're best suited for. Two of the most common terpenes found in cannabis are myrcene and caryophyllene, and most strains will have at least one of these two in their top five terpene profile. Remember, there are over a hundred different terpenes identified in the cannabis plant, and a lot more research is needed. Looking first at myrcene, mostly known for its sedative effects, myrcene is also a great antiseptic and has been shown to reduce inflammation. You can find myrcene in bay leaves, lemongrass, and mangoes. Moving over to caryophyllene, found in spices like basil, pepper, and oregano, caryophyllene is really good for helping with things like muscle spasms and pain. It's also an antioxidant. Taking a look now at limonene and pinene, two of the most pungent terpenes, these both smell a lot like how they sound. Limonene can be found most commonly commonly in citrus rinds and smells a lot like lemons. Great for helping with things like depression and anxiety, it's no wonder a hot lemon tea always makes you feel happy. And then found mostly in pine needles, pinene smells a lot like walking through a forest. Just like walking through a bunch of pine trees, Pinene is a bronchiodilator and is really good for helping with asthma. These last two are rarely the most prevalent terpenes in the cannabis plant, but make the top five pretty consistently. Starting with humulene, derived from the Latin word for hops, humulene can be found in hops and coriander. Humulene has been shown to reduce inflammation and is antibacterial. Last, but definitely not least, is linalool. Known for its calming and relaxing effects, you can find large amounts of linalool in lavender. And, as many people know, lavender is great for helping you relax after a long day. Well, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed learning more about terpenes and where else you can find them. Do you have a favorite terpene? If so, let me know which one and why in the comments below. And, as always, if you did learn something, please like and share this video for everyone to see. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the little bell beside it to be notified on Tuesdays when a new video is posted. And you can always catch up on some of the other videos right here. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.